production is a domain which is quite familiar with standards. And Simone suggests us to apply IDCS on production reporting. And he shows us a sample with most common production KPIs. Enjoy! So the first section is about the actuals. We have November a month and November year to date. We have the KPIs of the OEE, its overall equipment effectiveness. Here we show the, the calculation logic, yield, time, performance, time, uptime, and then we have the OEE. And then same story for the hourly output. So the idea here is also to show the structure is, is very important. In production, normally we have different units of measure, and so we need to uh, explicitly show them. We have three scenarios. We have the actual and then we have the expected, which is this flexible budget. And then we have the plan. Then another point of this report are the variances here. As you can see, there are versus expected mainly and uh, some of them are versus plan. And this is related to the variances that has a volume impact. So the capacity utilization in this case and also the volume. And here we have this little star, which is telling us this is variance versus plan and not versus expected. As you can see here, we have percentage points variances and here we have percentages. So we have this difference. N normally in OEE, we see the points and not, let's say, the percentages because this KPI is already a percentage. Then we have the second section. The second section is about variances. So I was telling you that it's important to translate the KPIs into financials and this is exactly what we are doing here. So here we have the production cost planned, then we have all the list of the variances, and then we have the production cost actual. In order to visualize that, we use waterfall charts. We have this blue background because we have two different scales. Then the third section is about comments, and these notes are really, and the comments are related also to finance figures here and also to KPIs here, so that we, we can read better the, the connection and read the explanation why do we have these variances, so what happen. Then the fourth section is about countermeasures. So here we have a list of tasks that has been decided after the monthly discussion of this report so that we take notes about the things that we have to do in order to fix some problems that has been highlighted by the report. Of course, we can apply IBCS to production and also to other fields. In the case of production, we have also to take into account that there are some standard KPIs that you will find in almost every plant or in every production facility, like OEE, like capacity utilization, volume, volume, hourly output, uh, the man hours, and so on. So this is already pretty standard in terms of content. And uh, the last point is the culture. In a modern and structured plant, normally you talk with people that are used to using standards. So my experience and my belief is also that probably is not that hard to introduce a standard about reporting in production because we have a culture that is also helping us in this case.